Hello everybody, it's Christine and it's time for a, I'm going to call this a mini haul uh, because I did do a little shopping, but honestly with our, my daughter's wedding and everything, I didn't buy a ton, but let me show you what I did get. So this is for, I got in September. So this is September 2024's little scrapbook haul. And actually I'm going to show you something else I got that's not scrapbook exactly, but it ties back to another series I'm starting. So I'll show you a couple things. So if you feel like at that point you don't want to see anything, you can of course cut it off. Um, but let me start you through the first thing. So these are Peachy Cheap, actually, hauls. I got a few emails. This I don't buy everything from Peachy Cheap, obviously. Um, but I did get a, a few emails that were intriguing to me, and so I picked some stuff up. If you don't know about Peachy Cheap, it's like a discount site. Um, you can sign up for the little daily. It's a daily deal. So if you miss that day, oh, well, you're not getting any more. <laughs> so this particular one was Nuvo. Let me get my scissors here. It was Nuvo Drops. It was a set of Nuvo Drops. And I do have some. Um, I think I have, I don't know, five or six colors. And so I may end up with a couple of duplicates, but I'm not going to worry about it. This was all the, I think this was stone. Yeah, this was all stone. And I only have one color in the stone and it's not any of, uh, yeah, I don't think it's any of these. I have like a turquoisey one. So this is stone and it's called Inkwell Black. Ooh, I should squatch this. Hold on. Inkwell Black. Now the, what the, the stone is, is the texture. It has like a little grit to it. So I'm gonna just squirt that out. So that's Inkwell Black. And then, oh you guys, this is gonna be, I saw a TikTok recently, this guy did like a Rubik's Cube in like 0.7 seconds. And then the other guy was trying to put the cat back on his um, water bottle and he couldn't get it on. I'm like, that's me. All right, this is Boulder Gray. This is really appropriate since we just got back from Colorado. Oh, that's pretty, look at that. That's bolder gray. Now, how much did I spend on this? I want to say, I don't remember you guys. I was looking to see if I had a ticket in here. I think it was like 14, 15 bucks or something. It might've been 20. I, I don't usually spend, if I'm honest, I'm too cheap to spend tons of money. Um, I shouldn't say I'm too cheap. If I really, really want something, I'll spend it. But the reality of it is I have so much stuff. I have to justify it mentally. So I wouldn't have spent tons. So I want to say it was 20, 25 bucks maybe. Um, and these are normally, I think, seven or eight bucks a pop. This is Blue Mist. Look how pretty. Now what happens with Nuvo Drops, if you don't know about them, is they'll dry um, hard. So, yeah. And they offer you, they, they kind of work in the place of like, or in conjunction with whichever, like enamel, enamel dots on your layouts. So you can um, create the little dots if you want. Just depends on how big you squirt out your thing. So look, I'll show you that this is, oh, this is by the way, um, where's our color, you guys? Where is our color? Oh, there it is, uh, Plum Slate. So you can make a little one or, see there, that's a little one. Or you can make a big one, whatever. However big you want it to be. And then we have, I'm kind of excited about these colors. It's almost, I love the fact that I've got kind of this neutral fun palette here. I'm gonna do this as a second row because I think this is a little bit different. This is Gold Rush. Ooh, neat. Gold Rush. And then we'll do this little guy here. I was really pleased to see this texture of stuff too. Um, Mustard jar, okay. Okay, that one needs a little bit of squirting. That's kind of pumpkin-y. That's almost kind of pumpkin-y to me, even though it says mustard. To me, mustard's a little yellower. And then I got kind of a pink color here. And it is pink granite. Anyway, this is a pretty good little site if you're looking for like discounts uh, product. And some of them are fairly current. I mean, they're never gonna be brand new, obviously, because it's discounted, but you know, fairly current type stuff. So there we go. That's my swatch of my Dr Nouveau uh, stone drops that I got this month. So those were fun. And I will set this aside and let this dry and I have my little swatch. Okay, next thing I got was, I haven't even opened these. These came, I don't, I think I was gone. I think we were gone, you guys. Um, I'm a sucker for enamel dots. I'm just such a sucker, and I don't use them as much as I should. Look at that. I bought a whole pack of these, you guys. 
Um, I think, are these all fancy pants? I think they're all fancy pants. So I have Bloom, North Pole, um, East Everly Lane, Apothecary, uh, Amber Autumn, Hallow's Eve, <coughs> excuse me, you guys, Beachside Boardwalk and Home Cafe. To me, these kind of go together and these kind of go together. Now, some of these colors you'll notice are kind of similar, like this, look at right here. These are very similar to these, but you can, obviously it goes with their collections. So if you have their collections, you know, I don't think I would have spent more than, I don't know, again, 15, 20 bucks is normally what I spend, unless it's a full collection of like papers and stuff. I don't usually spend more than 15, 20 bucks. I'm just, like I said, a little bit too cheap. All right, let's see what this one is. I think this might have paper in it because it's got, and guys, I buy stuff and then I forget what I bought. So sometimes it's like opening my packages is like a surprise. Let's see. I'm try not to be too harsh with my stuff here. Oh, oh my goodness, you guys, hold on. I dropped it. Oh, look at that. It's actually a Fancy Pants collection. I think I had been eyeing this actually because, did I get everything? Yeah. Uh, it's called Home Cafe, which was funny because I just had these enamel dots and guess what? I got some more. So Home Cafe. So this collection here, I remember I got it because my daughter loves to bake and it has this cute um, KitchenAid here. Y'all, I got crap all over my fingers. I got my nails done for the wedding and I already made it, popped off two of them. I'm terrible. Um, but this has like cute little like baking things, measuring spoons, little scales. There's an oven, keep calm and bake on. I kind of imagine doing a layout about my daughter's baking. Look how cute that is. Can y'all see that? Is it in the, in the shine here? I hesitate to take it out because it's always a pain in the butt to put it back, but there we go. You can see the kitchen's a heart of the home. Let's bake, isn't that cute? And I do love these little colors. This is a little navy. It's not quite dark navy, but it's a nice little navy. Pink strawberries. There's some fruits. Pink strawberries. I feel like I may have seen this collection before. Maybe in a scrap room flavors of the month. But I didn't, wouldn't have got the whole thing. So it's a nice little, because there's pears. There's a nice bunch of fruits here. I like these stripes. This is cute. A little baking sheet here with some flowers. This could be fussy cut. I'm almost certain this may have come. I don't remember that blue bake. That's cute. The hearts. Yeah. This doesn't have to be a kitchen collection. You know, you can definitely use the the B-sides. And there's another little bake page with flowers. So that's really cute. I see that. Like I said, with layout of my daughter, like cooking, baking donuts, something like that. So that was my haul for like scrapbook supplies. The only thing I got is um, I got it my next planner. And I'm going to only show you this. So if you're not interested in planners or anything like that, or if you're not interested in um, the series my daughter and I are starting, which is the Cultivated Matters Goal Setting Series for 2025, you might just go ahead and tune out. I hate to say that because, of course, it doesn't help my, uh, you know, the fancy little algorithm YouTube does. So if you hang out with me, you can listen to me natter as well. But this is my planner. So I actually order custom planners. So there's some wonderful planners out there. You know, some of your most popular, your Erin Condren's and your Happy Planners and, um, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. I found this brand, which is a Gendio. Sorry for the scrub, the, what do you call this stuff? Crinkles. Um, I found a Gendio a couple of years ago, and it's basically 100% um, custom. So I'm going to peel this off. It does, they have this on there, protect the cover. This is a cover that they offer that you can customize in the sense like you pick from a whole bunch of covers. You can put a, uh, you can put your initials on here. You can have the band go here. You can have the band go here. You can have just a spot down here. Depends on the cover. Um, I'll pick certain different things. Sometimes it's been a Bible verse. Sometimes it's been a phrase. I like this one this time. Live on purpose. You can choose the band color, all that kind of stuff. And so my point is, I'm going to use this planner in conjunction with my Cultivate with Matters. So again, Agendio, you can customize basically the entire thing. You add pockets. You don't have to have a pocket. I do usually get a pocket. Um, you, it always comes with like this you know, future year looking thing at the beginning. And then I actually have custom like layouts for stuff like this growth tracker, which is like business type stuff. Well, actually personal growth more so I do put, uh, 
like a coded version of my passwords in here. I don't really carry this anywhere, so it stays home mostly. It's not a big deal. Um, here's your month. The other neat thing is you can put um, your personal like events, so like you know birthday so and so, um, paydays, you know certain tasks, people's birthdays, things like that. I started my November because I'm just off sequence a little bit. Um, sometimes I order it and I get too excited. I want it a month early, so I end up with it. It's I get a six month planner too, by the way. So um, I do a six month planner because I do I do a monthly, weekly, daily layout. I can't. I just I need a monthly, daily, weekly, and I haven't found very many planners, if any, that actually have that those three types. You're either monthly, weekly, or your monthly, daily, and I need all three. So I customize this, but it ends up being a little bit fat. So I end up with a six month planner. So I have a monthly here. Um, this is how I track my scrapbook layout, you guys. So this, I'll put my various hops and different things. I'll put notes and color coding down here. Um, I do have a health tracker where I track my, I have a Garmin. So I do sleep, um, my weight, stress level, battery, battery, body battery steps. And then here's a weekly layout that I've customized. Basically these little squares get custom. You can customize just basically anything here. Put your priority at the top. Who don't want to call or text? Make sure I keep up. You know, I try to make sure I call my mom and my dad, my friends, you know, text people, stuff like that. Um, dinner menus. I, again, I put this stuff in. You can make this anything you want. You can make it one long list. You can make a short list, whatever. Um, I did add, uh, for this one, cause I know how the cultivate what matters works. I have this little tending list. So it's going to kind of tie back into my tending list. Hi Saturn. She's been lonely. We've been gone. I need to show them this. So scooch over for a second. I did add a page this time called life growth. Um, I do like to track, you know, certain things. So I've got praying for answer prayers, Bible verses, social media reset, personal development. And then I have a habit tracker, a weekly habit tracker. Again, this is kind of tied into business building and that sort of thing. Um, then on my dailies, I have basically the hourly schedule. I do put a daily Bible verse up here and then I have various trackers, things here. And then I have three different lists. I have a work list. I have a, uh, my side hustle in my nutrition club list here and then personal and home. I find that if I try to make one long list, I end up kind of forgetting certain things in certain parts of my life and I do have a full life. So I try to make sure I capture all, you guys, my hat, my cat is dropping her hair. She gets stressed out when we're gone. Um, so that's basically it. And then the weekends have a little different st structure here. And then you basically have each month, obviously the tabs are, you know, you can change your font. I do like the full month. I get mine in a neutral because I do use a lot of little washi tapes and stickers, but this actually comes full color if you want that. And you can choose the color palette. So that's kind of cool. Um, again, that's for each month. And then at the end, I have a notes section. Um, I don't think I have anything at the end of the month or no, I really don't. Um, sometimes I have, so as long as I say that. I'm gonna try a mood tracker as well. I've added that this time. Uh, I'm gonna see how that goes. And then at the end, I usually have some dot grid note pages. I just um, enjoy a dot grid. I used a bullet journal. And honestly, what I, the reason I kind of switched over to a made planner or a custom planner like this is because I made the same layout every week. And I was like, Christine, you're making the same layout. You might as well try to find your planner where it just for you so you don't have to type everything. So I have my dot grid, and then it actually automatically adds um, a line notepad at the end here. And then I have another pocket. Um, so that is my planner. So again, kind of watch for the series my daughter and I are going to be doing with our Cultivate What Matters. And uh, that's the planner I'll be using along with that. So we'll have some videos on that. So that's my haul for the month, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see you in the next video. Talk soon. Bye.